Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. The world is paying attention to the dam. At 8 a.m. on June 22, local time, the water level at the Three Gorges Dam is 145.49 meters. Compared to the day before yesterday, it is the same level. This time last year, the water level was 146.37 meters, so the situation is low. Looking at the water storage side of the dam, the water level is around here. When I checked the discharge of the Three Gorges Dam at 8 a.m., it was 19,000 cubic meters per second. Therefore, it is estimated that the power generation status is about 63%. There may be around 20 turbines in operation. According to the dam data, the water level at the Three Gorges Dam has been around 145 meters since June 10. They have a routine that lowers the water level to 145 meters each year. This is to prepare for heavy rains during the flood season. This may continue for some time. However, the water level may rise depending on the inflow situation. Next, let's look at the data from the observatory upstream of the dam. Recently, we can see that the flow rate is on the rise. The change in the flow rate here greatly affects the numerical value of the Three Gorges Dam. Therefore, I always pay attention to the data of this observatory and tell you about it. Looking at the situation in the graph, it looks like that. The graph of the annual water level of the Three Gorges Dam is as follows. Until now, it was the phase of lowering the water level. In June, the amount of rain will gradually increase. As the amount of water flowing into the dam increases, they will respond by increasing the discharge accordingly. Still, the water level rises steadily. At the end of the flood season, they raise the water level to 175 meters due to hydropower and irrigation water for the following year. Although there are some deviations, it looks like this every year. By the way, heavy rain has continued in the southern part of China since the beginning of June. The news is that it has been a record heavy rain recently. Initially, it was reported that the water level of the river was abnormally high in the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. In Guizhou, earth and sand flowed in and the high-speed rail derailed. In addition, there is information in Hunan that floods and hydroelectric power plants may have collapsed. Next, in Guangdong and Fujian provinces, information on floods and landslides is coming out. Rainfall is at its highest level since 1961. It is reported that about 4.6 million people have been affected by the announcement alone. The reason for this is thought to be that the fronts were stagnant in the southern part of China and it rained heavily. It's always windy in this channel, as I'm telling you. I think that this white belt will move northward in the future. Next, let's look at the water level in the lower reaches of the Three Gorges Dam. As you can see, the water levels are still rising across the board at the downstream observatories. With high water levels in June, even a small amount of heavy rain can cause floods. So, it cannot be said that the water level of the Three Gorges Dam has dropped and everything is okay. As mentioned in this channel, this dam has a lot of problems. They don't talk about any of the potential concerns I think of, such as climate impact concerns, garbage problems, ecosystem impacts, and sedimentation sand issues. They appeal that the dam is operating safely, but do not address potential issues. The annual rainfall around the Three Gorges Dam is as follows. It's finally June. From now on, the amount of rain will gradually increase toward July. As far as this channel has investigated, the area covered by the Three Gorges Dam is the red line. In the past, it was often raining in the southern part of China. However, from now on, it will be the season when the area moves north. So, it is possible that there will be more rain on the south side of the Three Gorges Dam and in the lower reaches of the Yangtze River. Let's check with Windy. In the southern part of China, heavy rains have continued for the first time in 60 years, causing a lot of damage. In the future, the location of rain clouds will move to the lower reaches of the Yangtze River. In addition, Windy predicts that heavy rain clouds will spread around the Three Gorges Dam. From now on, it will be a full-scale rainy season.
Well, I've talked about the crane moving from side to side, but I get a comment that I want to see the actual moving image. The crane moves slowly, so even if you look at the local video, you can't tell because it's a long distance. Certainly, I have never seen a moving image, so when I looked it up, it moved on October 29th. Start around 10.31 in the morning. First of all, it is 8x speed. This crane is about 24 meters high and is equivalent to the 8th floor in a condominium. It travels on rails. Then make it 20x faster. On the way, you can see that this is where buses, which are thought to be work vehicles, come and go. It's about 10.46 when it stops on the other side of the screen. Since there are two other cranes, it is not from end to end, but it seems to move the range of motion in about 15 minutes. It's unclear whether the series of movements happened or was regular, but in the second year, I feel like I've finally seen a moving crane. Let's take a closer look. This is above the dam. You can see something like radial cracks. Not just one place. It is presumed that there is considerable pressure. What do you think of this? There is a huge dam upstream of the Three Gorges Dam. I told you that a huge dam is being built upstream of the Three Gorges Dam, but I checked the positional relationship. Please note that the figure is a rough image. The Three Gorges Dam is about 1,600 kilometers from the distant coastal area. And it seems that there are four huge dams upstream. Compared to the vicinity of the Three Gorges Dam, it is steeper and the altitude is higher. From the top, Wudonde Dam, Baihitan Dam, Shiladu Dam, and Shangjaba Dam. The most upstream Wudonde Dam was completed in July last year. The Baihitan Dam was completed around May of this year and seems to be starting to store water now. This is speculation, but this year's thaw water may have been stored here. It seems that the two dams downstream have already been completed and are in operation. I have... There seems to be a nuclear facility in the basement. Gossip. It's gossip, but there seems to be a story that there may be a facility under the Three Gorges Dam. It is said that the facility is a nuclear-related facility. I've been watching the Three Gorges Dam since about August last year, but I didn't know anything about this. Of course, it's an urban legend, but if there is, it's just a little. In the first place, will we make something with a risk of radiation leakage as an important water resource? In the unlikely event of an accident, it will affect all cities up to Shanghai, 1,600 kilometers away. It is said that about 600 million people live in this basin. China is different from our idea, but what about this? The Three Gorges Dam has three roles. Flood control, hydroelectric power generation, and water transportation. So it is a little unreasonable to bother to build dangerous facilities at such an important base. In general, it is extremely difficult to prove that there is none. So I think that such urban legendary stories will appear and disappear, and will repeat. However, in the sense that there is something underground, the Three Gorges Dam also has underground facilities. There are 14 turbines for hydroelectric power generation in the dam on the right and 12 on the left when facing the screen. These can be confirmed as a power generation building from photographs. And, as you may not know, eight turbines are installed in the mountain on the left when facing the screen. This facility was not planned at the dam concept stage, and I don't know when it was, but it was added later. I tried to summarize the petite information of the Three Gorges Dam. This video is a popular video that has been played over 100,000 times, so please enjoy it. The URL is listed in the summary section. Already, the water level is almost full. It was rumored that heavy rains would continue last year and the dam would collapse, but this year it seems to be more peaceful. However, it is necessary to pay attention to the future rain situation. We will continue to provide you with the latest information, so please subscribe to our channel.